Mr. Bobby Cruz. La tierra de Borinquen, donde he nacido yo, es un jardín florido de mágico primor. Un cielo siempre nítido le sirve de dosel y dan arrullos plácidos las olas a sus pies. Cuando a sus playas llegó Colón, exclamó lleno de admiración. ¡Oh, esta es la linda tierra que busco yo! Es Borinquen la hija, la hija del mar y el sol. Del mar y el sol, del mar y el sol, del mar y el sol, del mar y el sol. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. At this time, from the United States Marine Corps, Lance Corporal Elizabeth A. Quinones will sing the national anthem of the United States of America. The color guard in the ring is here courtesy of the 6th Communications Battalion out of Brooklyn, New York. That is the unit that Lance Corporal Quinones also was serving. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, from the mecca of sports and entertainment, Madison Square Garden, New York City, USA, Mr. Don King and Don King Productions is proud to present the main event of the evening.
Brought to you in association with the struggle for supremacy, the heavyweight blockbuster pay-per-view event on Saturday, November 13th from Madison Square Garden. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission Chairman, Mr. Ron Scott Stevens, commissioners at ringside, Jerome Becker and Mark Kornstein. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be from Canada, Guy Jutra. From New York, Fred Ucci. From New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action inside the ring, your referee, Steve Smoger. And now, with dedication to the members of the United States Armed Forces, and the first in defense men and women of the emergency services, the firefighters, and the police department of the United States. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, official weight, 158 pounds. Professional record, 26 victories, including 22 knockouts, with four defeats and one draw. Thomas y Caballeros de Managua, Nicaragua, the former overweight champion of the world, Ricardo El Matador. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy, official weight, 157 and 3 quarter pounds. Professional record, 31 victories, including 34 knockouts, with only one defeat. He is the former welterweight, former super welterweight, and former middleweight champion of the world. Thomas y Caballeros de Cupeato, Puerto Rico, Feliz Tito De La Hoya versus Hopkins didn't live up to its hype as the second coming of Hagler versus Leonard. This one might have a better chance of being a facsimile of Hagler versus Hearns. It has taken quite some time to clear the ring, and because of all the pageantry, a great deal of time since the fighters entered the ring. In fact, Roy Jones, Ricardo Mayorga, has been in the ring for 14 minutes now before the first bell sounds. Could that be disruptive to him? No, it won't bother him. You gotta know that he's this type of guy. He's the one guy who will be ready for anything that happens tonight. He landed a right hand over the top against Trinidad. Second right hand was a glancing blow. Trinidad hasn't really gotten off on offense. Mayorga is swinging already. Third right hand in a row. Left hook. Mayorga doesn't bother with jabs all that often. Although as the fight goes on, he'll throw some of them just to change the pace. But in round one, he likes to let you know that he's swinging for the fences. And he wants you to know that he's knocking out, but Trinidad would be very smart to use his jab early so they can see some of the things that Mayorga's trying to do to him. 
Tito has a long history of being unsteady on his feet early. As we mentioned, he's been knocked down eight times in his career. Most of them were quick knockdowns in early rounds against lesser opponents, after which he got up and knocked the guy out. Here, he looks particularly unsteady on his feet. Mayorga doing most of the throwing. Felix doing some defending, but some catching. Two body shots for Mayorga. Right hand over the top, and another. Trinidad just trying to get out of the first round and survive Mayorga's onslaught for the moment. Now Felix offers a left hand, taking advantage of a counterpunch opportunity. Mayorga looks as though he's just going to keep on coming. Oh, he is. He's definitely going to keep coming. Good right hand by Tito. Hard right hand lands on the button. Tito managed to take it. There's another one. What about the impact of Mayorga's punches, Roy? They are definitely having a, an effect, but this is his first time at Middleway, so. Now he takes Trinidad's left hook. And this is a Mayorga tactic. He drops his hands and says, come on, hit me. Did it with Forrest, does it here with Tito Trinidad. He also told us it was a trick because when you can see the punches coming, you can take it. Trinidad lands a straight right hand. And another right hand. And now Trinidad with the uppercut. Brings the left hook. Jab. Picks off Mayorga with another right hand. And now it's Mayorga who's taking the punishment. Mayorga's tired. He don't care to wait as good as he does to work through the business. If Tito was waiting for Mayorga to tire, it's an effective piece of tactic as he wobbles Mayorga down the stretch of round one. Mayorga didn't look good on his feet as the round came to a close. <laughs> Did anybody say Hadler Hearns? I think so. <laughs> I think Bernard Hopkins made that point. Let's go, Stevie. Don't lower your hands. Don't, don't do that. Don't. All right, everything calm. Take your power. You're gonna get him now. After dominating almost the entire first round, at the end of the round, Trinidad got in his licks. Who has the psychological advantage after round one, Roy? Trinidad does, mainly because, like I said, this guy doesn't seem to take the same punch as a middleweight as he did as a welterweight. He doesn't seem like he's in shape when he fights at middleweight. He never breathed this hard during his earlier fights at welterweight. Trinidad was devastatingly accurate down the stretch of round one. Wound up landing 29 out of 55 punches in the round. 25 of those 29 connects in the last minute of the round. Mayorga was 19 out of 84. Interesting round to score. Now my is bleeding at the nose, so this is definitely a confidence killer. And Trinidad is finding the target with his left hook. So Mayorga goes to his left hook. Body, then upstairs. Perfect counter left hand by Trinidad right up the pike. Mayorga lands his left twice. Missed over the top with the right. Hard right hand by Trinidad. This time Mayorga takes it. Comes back with his own. And Trinidad come back with his own right hand. Two hard right hands landed by Trinidad. Mayorga seems to be getting his sea legs under him with regard to taking Trinidad's punch. have taken several big power shots from their opponents. There's a big left hook by Trinidad. Mayorga reaching with the right hand. Now he gets closer to throw the right. And two solid shots from Tito. He won't keep taking these from Tito, I guarantee you. Half 
after an unsteady first half of round one, Felix Trinidad clearly has warmed to the task. He's finding the target, countering effectively, picking his spots, landing when he wants to against Ricardo Mayorga. Mayorga's landing some big shots in return. But Mayorga's definitely tired. If Tito beat his body a little bit, he'd definitely be better off in this fight. Mayorga lands twice, the left and the right. Trinidad seems able to take Mayorga's punches now. Straight, Straight right, right hand. hand. And another. And another. Mayorga dropping his hands. Trinidad just firing away. Big left hand by Mayorga. Big right, right hand, hand by, by Trinidad. And the left. Far, it is indeed the Hagler Hearns of the new millennium. Let's see what happens in round three. A remarkable round for Trinidad after such a long layoff to be able to stay in there at that pace. The jab, Tito. Yeah, you, you got him. You tear, tear him up. Deep breath. You're gonna kill him. Hey, you, you gotta use the jab and, and raise your hand. Raise your right hand. Try the uppercut. The left hand, the left uppercut is gonna do it. In the middle with the left uppercut. Felix Trinidad has the superior technique and in a rough tough fight like this perhaps that will be the difference and he landed a very good straight right lead in that in that uh rollback that you just saw very effective punch for him in this fight so far his straight right hand and the 36 punches that trinidad landed by CompuBox count in the second round are the most punches ever landed against ricardo mayorga in a single round in any of the fights CompuBox has tracked now we go to round three. It's been a furious, vicious, hard-fought first two rounds, both men getting their power shots in. But if Tito Trinidad continues to land 60% of his power shots, as was the case by CompuBox count in round two, it's hard to imagine him losing it. And that was a good jab by Tito. One of the things I'm noticing, because we asked Trinidad whether he had learned anything from the Hopkins fight, and he said, well, two, one or two little changes, is that he's moving a little better from side to side. He used to be able to stand right in front of the opponents because he had such confidence in his power. He's moving just enough to disrupt some of Mayorga's offensive onslaught. But he took that right hand, which landed right down the pipe. And he's taking Mayorga's punches very well now. And he lands a right and a solid left hook. And Mayorga takes those punches and comes right back. left hook by Mayorga. Tito walks right through it. At this moment, it's clear that Trinidad can take Mayorga's power. At least for the moment. Trinidad beginning to jab a little more often, exploring the boundaries of his technical advantage over Mayorga. And he's smart. He's moving around the ring now. Like Larry said, he's not going right after Mayorga. He's very he's smart. Little movements with the feet. A refinement in Trinidad's game. Oh, he's right there. Oh, good shot. Trinidad's glove touched oh, the canvas, oh, and there's oh, the first knockdown of the fight. Oh, Properly oh, ruled. Six, seven, eight, two blocks, two blocks. Trinidad does not appear to be affected by the punch. Not Let's much at all. Let's see if he'll retaliate. And if, if Mayorga lost the first two rounds, he may have just evened the fight with that knockdown. You have a Trinidad's recovery with a good left uppercut coming in here, too. Another big right hand. This time, Mayorga misses over the top. Trinidad a little short with the counter. Trinidad is landing his left hand as though it's a laser. Beautifully. Huge 
Hart's right hand coming under by Mayorga. Felix swings and misses with a big left hook. A knockdown in round three for Ricardo Mayorga. That was, that was a slip. Don't worry, dude, that's nothing. How you feeling? Everything fine? Don't jump around so much. Yeah. Come on, stand right in front of him and fight with him. Okay? He's, he's, look, he's looking for the knockout, but he's gonna get knocked out. He can't take your punches. Here's he Mayorga going with a left uppercut and an overhand right over the top. Caught Tito clearly on the ear, and it knocked him pretty much off balance, but his glove did test the canvas, so that is considered a knockdown. Once again, he came with an uppercut and an overhand right over the top. It was a shot behind his ear, but since his glove touched the canvas, that is considered a knockdown. Roy, a lot of uh, Mayorga's punches are landing on top hobby, of hobby. the ear, around the head. How much do those punches hurt? Those are very effective punches because you usually don't see them coming, and they just seem to do something really, really bad to your equilibrium. Harold, how do you have it scored through three? Okay, Jim, I think Ricardo Mayorga evened up the fight with the knockdown, even if it wasn't such a great knockdown. 28-28 in rounds, two rounds to one, Felix Trinidad. I thought Trinidad in rounds one and two get them beautifully at the end of that long reach, just like he's doing now, and have it up. Mallorca ties it up in the third round with the knockdown. Look at the accuracy of Trinidad's straighter, shorter punches. And he's throwing beautiful straight punches tonight. That's his big advantage against Mallorca. In a free-swinging trade in the center of the ring, Felix's punches should get there first. But the big left hook lands for Mayorga. And now he loops another one around the guard. Trinidad nearly knocks his head off with yeah. a left hook. Yeah, if Trinidad would just hit his body, he'd finish his fight real quick. Neither fighter throws many body punches. Felix has done it more frequently in the past, but right now he's fighting Mayorga's fight, as almost everybody is tempted to do. Mayorga's dead tired, though. Well, I was about to ask you if maybe Trinidad was getting tired because no. he limited himself to only throwing 13 power punches in round three, a round in which Mayorga threw 43 of them. Felix is boxing more than we might have expected at this point in the fight. Big yeah. left hook by Mayorga. And he's boxing very smartly here. Big uppercut by Trinidad. Boy, Mayorga's got a beard and a half. But he's dead tired, Jim. One body shot from Philly could really, really help him out. When a guy has as much power as Trinidad has had over his career, he tends to become a headhunter. That's not bad because he's landing some beautiful head shots tonight, but I mean, he can make it easier on himself, easier on himself if he goes to the body. Is the two and a half year layoff potentially a factor in his not remembering to throw the body shots? No, he wasn't throwing body shots before he laid off. <laughs> All right. Can this fight go on at this pace for how long and who gets affected first? Mayorga would not last as long. All Tito has to do is not get caught by a surprisingly big shot, and he'll stop Mayorga later on in this fight. Mayorga's dead tired. Tito will remember sooner or later to go to the body. And Mayorga already is losing power on his wide swinging shots, while Tito is mustering power on his straighter, shorter punches. And Mayorga does not like his weight either. He, he doesn't fight well. There's a body, body punch. punch, and it hurt Mayorga back. I back. told you. And he comes back with an uppercut. But he's Mayorga. dead tired. He's it's, dead tired. It's Mayorga's instinct to fight when he's hurt. And that's why he came out swinging after Felix touched him up with the body fight. This is one of the most amazing fights we've seen in a long time for fighters who are at the elite level of the sport. But as they go to their corners, Roy Jones' observation air. is quite apt. Mayorga yeah. it, was exhausted some, before he sat on the stool. Rookie, come on, champion, relax, relax. You gotta relax a little bit more. You, you gotta be able to, to get rid of those punches a little bit. You gotta be a little more relaxed. You gotta use the one-two and then the left uppercut. And the, the uppercut. 
Here you see Tito come into right hand lead, and now he throws the left liver shot, which we wish he'd have been throwing earlier. And you can tell that shot hurt Mayorga. He pulled the arm down right to the spot and immediately backed out of the scene. By and large, Roy, isn't it fair to say that body punches will hurt you more than head punches when properly landed? Yes, they will, and they last for a longer period of time. By the way, Mike, let him Power shots in round four, according to CompuBox. Trinidad, 20 out of 34. Again, 60%. Mayorga swung away for 52 power shots, but landed 20, 38%. Mayorga's losing a little steam on his punches. Trinidad is still throwing them short and straight. Merrill is not the same fighter at this weight as he is at 147, without a doubt. But he is game. <laughs> On Trinidad's 34 knockouts in his career, 30 were within five rounds. That's typical of most power punchers who get to their lesser opponents in a hurry. This, this opponent isn't as lesser as many others, <laughs> but he's getting hit a lot. But you don't see Trinidad rushing in trying to finish him, though, because he knows he's dangerous once he's hurt. Great counter right-hand punch by Trinidad, stopping Mayorga in his tracks. Mayorga starting to back up now. Trinidad now senses that Mayorga is ready to be taken, but Mayorga may have some other ideas. Mayorga's exhaustion marked by the fact that he stood still momentarily against the ropes. Trinidad hit him with two straight right hands. Now they're trading again. At center ring. A couple but Trinidad's of, activity level is going up and Mayorga's is coming down. Yeah, because Mayorga's tired. Like I said, he's not the same fighter at middleweight as he is at 47. But if Trinidad goes back to his body a couple more times, he'll get this fight over with. You get the sense that if Mayorga was knocked down on the canvas, he'd beat the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely exhausted right now. The steam is about going out of his punches. You wonder when Trinidad's going to go back to the body. He did so much damage with that one left-hand shot. Good, Good left hook upstairs by Trinidad. But for a guy who's been away two and a half years, he is sharp with counter punches. He looks good. Looks very good for two years later. Mayorga backing up, taking straight punches. Trinidad very selective, incredibly accurate. The accuracy with power punches is something amazing to behold. He's ripping my organ. Huge left hook. And now my organ begins to hold a sure sign that he's taking more punishment than he wants. Ten seconds to go in the round as Trinidad pours his hand and tries to finish. Huge cut under Mayorga's left eye. Oh. 19,000 people on their feet. <laughs> what a fight. Put the doctor in. Give me a doctor. Ring doctor coming into the corner to look at Mayorga. Take, take some air. Take some air now. Deep breath. You can't be taking those punches. You he gotta be able to use the one two. Come on, make sure you're strong and throw some punches. And here's that left uppercut that Trinidad has been landing all night long. Mayorga Mayor cannot do nothing with that shot. There's that right hand. Trinidad looks so sharp and crisp with his combinations tonight. I don't know too many fighters who could have stood up to that garage. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a more accurate display of power punching in one round. Felix Trinidad was incredible in round five. Oh. And he's smiling and he's flexing his right arm as if to say, I'm the one who's got the power here. And Mayorga is in trouble as we go to the sixth. Big trouble. Ricardo Mayorga has just experienced the roughest round of his career. Trinidad landing the most punches and the most power punches ever landed against Mayorga in a CompuBox track round. And you can see how badly Trinidad has damaged the area under Mayorga's left eye. 
good straight right lead by Trinidad. Again, notice how he's using his legs, going from one side of my yoga to another. Roy, it's, he's really had worked on something in these two and a half years. Yes, he has. Trinidad has weathered the early storm. If Mayorga can continue to stand up under the barrage, the question then becomes, will he get a second wind of some sort? He hammers Trinidad with the right hand. Felix comes back with Mayorga. the big left. That was a good, good trade. Yeah, he'll be going soon, though. He's dead tired, Jim. There he is. He won't last much longer, I guarantee you. Big left took by Trinidad. Mayorga really feeling the effects of his punches. Yeah, he won't last much longer. He's really gone now. A he couple five shots to end It looks like almost he can't hold his right hand hot to protect against those left hands. He can't. That body shot got to move. Mayorga has never been on the canvas. Well, he's going tonight. <laughs> he took a TKO in his pro debut, accumulated punishment. A and he's still standing here, but the accumulation of punishment is ongoing once again. Smoker's thinking about stopping it himself. He's looking at it very close now. Smoker will let a fight go as long as he sees a chance for the fighter taking the punishment, as long as the fighter is fighting back. Smoker will let a fight go about as much as any referee <laughs> we've seen. Oh, that was a body shot of hurt him. He's saying he got hit on the hip. It looked that way. And yeah. now there's an injury timeout. Trinidad has a long Take history of low blows. That can help my order because he can take as much as five minutes. That won't help him because he's five on the downside five. of this fight. <laughs> Is my order acting? No, to I try to establish the effect of the punch? I don't think he's necessarily acting. I'd like to see the punch again to see if it was low. But it won't happen now because he is in a world of trouble here tonight. And that left eye closing fast. Here's another look. Oh, yeah, there's a low blow. We're on a five-minute clock. We're on a five-minute clock, according to referee Steve Smoker, as Mayorga gets a chance to recover from the low blow. But for Mayorga, I think this hurts his eye, too, because now his eye gets a chance to swell even more. Without the cut man getting a chance to work on it with the end swim. Exactly. The time off would be a lot different if the cut man could be at work. Instead, the eye just keeps on swelling. I don't think he really wants a lot more, Jim. Well, he, he looks just... discouraged, and you don't often see Ricardo Mayorga with a discouraged look on his face. But he's decided to come back before the five minutes are up. You may have to kill him to beat him. <laughs> well, Tito's definitely trying to do that. It looks as though Mayaga is going to make it out of round six. But Trinidad now has some extra rest to fuel oh, his good fire shot for the by seven. Mayorga. Good oh, big by left Mayorga. hook by Mayorga. Two right hands and a body shot and another right hand. And they trade shots after the bell. I'll tell you what, I'll take them on my war team any day of the week. <laughs> there was a body shot in there that made Trinidad step back for a moment. Take some water. Come on, water. Hey, when, when you go to, yeah, you gotta be first. Yeah. Don't let him take the initiative, you be first. Hey, Tico, the right hand, that's the power. That's it, the straight right hand. That's a good one. We got him now, we hurt him. You got him. Sting him real good. Another left up cut by Tito. It was a grazing shot, but it was one of the same shots, boom, that leads to the left hook. And I think that shot truly hurt me. How can you tell? Again in the <laughs> sixth <he> round. <laughs> again in the sixth round, Trinidad landed more than 60% of his power shots. What an amazing display of accurate power punching so far. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. Five rounds to one. 58-54. Tito Trinidad. Jim, in that round five, he won it so big. I tell you, if a judge doesn't score that 10-8, I don't know when a judge will ever score a 10-8.
So anyway, that'll make up for the knockdown. 58-54, five to one, Trinidad. Another chopping right hand. <laughs> the guy has a heart as big as Nicaragua. Yes, he does. I'll tell you, he definitely could go to war with me any day of the week. Hard right hand by Mayorga. Left hand is blocked. Look at him just firing away. Right when you think he's finished, here he comes. As the left eye closes up, Mayorga opens up again. Why well, do you still think that little break didn't help Mayorga? Uh, I don't know if it helped him or not. I don't think it helped his eye real, but didn't hurt him. No, it didn't hurt him. We can agree there. Well, more and more, it appears there are two critical differences in the fight. Trinidad is a far better boxer, and Mayorga might not be a legitimate 160-pound fighter. That's the biggest key factor here tonight. He's not a legitimate 160 pound. But, like he said, for the right money, he'll do anything. He don't care. <laughs> he, fight, he fights for a living. That's simple. He'll invite Lennox Lewis to come You're back. Exactly right. Oh, oh good body shot by takes the right oh, hand. Oh, and now Mayaga gets hit on the right side of the body again. And he thought he was going to get a low blow ruling from Smoger, and he didn't get it. And it gives Trinidad a couple free shots. And rest assured, Mayork is going to fire back at some point. And he does. You don't like these body shots, though, Joe. I don't know why you're there. Oh, what an uppercut. What well, a violent uppercut by If Trinidad. he thinks he was really hit low, what he should do is hit back low. No, he said he, he, he got hit in the back, though. He wasn't saying it was low. He said he got hit in the back. All right. Then hit him in the back. You're right. Huge <laughs> left hook by Trinidad. Stuns Mayorga. And now Mayorga is holding on. For dear life. Tito is showing some true condition here himself tonight, Jeff, because he's throwing a lot of big punches, and that takes a lot out of the fighter. What a stunning fight. What an amazing seven rounds of combat. Come up after every round. I think we need him out of here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, you, you gotta pressure him. And if you have to hit him in the ball, hit him in the ball. Hey, if you hit you in the ball, hit him back in the ball. Yeah, yeah this is not no playing game. If he hits you in the ball, you hit him back. You gotta be first. It's on his butt cheek, but uh, it's a bad shot, and he can't walk away like that, but it is a bad shot. It was low, and it was on his butt cheek. How painful is it to get hit hard on the hip? Very painful, especially when you're as tired as these guys should be. I would say that, that Trinidad's putting on a remarkable performance, not only in the fact that he seems to be winning the fight, but that he's fighting at this level of intensity after such a long layoff. I think they're... Two remarkable performances going on. Trinidad is landing 60% of his punches, which is astonishing. Mayorga has thrown 512 punches, which is almost equally as astonishing. Trinidad is not wasting much. He's being very economical tonight. All out attack from Mayorga. <laughs> <laughs> then he steals him a little punch on the leg. Yeah, poke him a little there. <laughs> Just to let him know he's still here. Body shot by Mayorga. Trinidad trying that uppercut, which has been so devastatingly accurate. Four Mayorga hooks by with Mayorga. three left hooks. Four. That was exceptional. It's almost Skip as if me. he's gotten his second win. It does indeed appear that he's gotten his second win. No, 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 no. Break. In this round, for the first time, he's not only out throwing, Felix out landing him. But there, Trinidad stops it with two straight right hands. 
A good hook. Oh, what oh, a big left hook. There he is. That could be the beginning of the end. That hurt him real Mayorga bad. not throwing it all. Trinidad looking to finish. Look at Mayorga. Oh. Weathering the storm again. Trinidad hits him flush with an uppercut. Oh, oh that's what it. What a body shot. That's what a body shot. body shot. I told you the body shot would have done it a long time ago. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Up at the count of nine. A heart as big as Mexico. I told you. And I told you the body shot would have finished the job a long time ago, Jim. I have never Frederick Ricardo Mayorga tries to unload the, the arsenal against Trinidad. Trinidad comes back. Mayorga's on the canvas a second time. Never on the canvas before, twice in this round. Trinidad was all the way up on the top rope in the neutral corner. Now he has to climb back down. I told those body shots would do it, Jim. No three knockdown rule in effect. Another savage left hook by Trinidad. Mayorga goes down for the third time, and Steve Smoger is going to stop the fight. Very small call. Stop a the fight. Knockout. A few seconds before the ninth round. <laughs> Larry, I don't like to keep talking about the ninth round. <laughs> it's a two word headline, everybody. Tito's back. In round eight, Felix Trinidad closed the show, landing, are you ready? 39 out of 47 power shots. That's what you call target practice. Knockdown see, number one. He threw a left hook to the head, he came back, he threw it right up cut, he leaned outside, he saw the body shot, so he's just gonna take it. Right there, boom, good body shot. The shot I've been calling for all night. Knew once he landed that shot, that would be it. Here, Mjorka just hurt from an accumulation of punches and the right hand left hook kind of does the deal, but he's still trying to stay up and he went down from a very short right hand again. Just and then the third time, Mjorka goes down to avoid further punishment. And that was probably enough to convince Smoger that, well, he's had enough. And at this point, I think it was pretty evident that it was over. He was tired. He had no steam on his punches. He was just making it out of the way of the punches. Then boom, there's a right hand and left up cup again. The left up cup was ferocious tonight. And he just went ahead and went down to avoid further punishment. Is there a harder puncher pound for pound in the sport than Felix Trinidad? I, I really don't think it is. And that would be another exceptional fight for Bernard Hopkins. He said he wants to make a, an impressive 20th defense. Here he goes. Is there a smarter finisher in the sport than Felix Trinidad? There's not a gutsier finisher in the sport than Felix Trinidad. He took a lot of good shots from Ricardo Mayorga and finally got Mayorga to go down three times in the eighth round, the first three times in Ricardo Mayorga's career that he's tasted the canvas and a resounding triumph for Felix Trinidad in his first fight back after a two and a half year layoff. And he took a big fight, a big chance. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on a sensational fight. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Madison Square Garden, the combat has begun. Referee Steve Smother steps in and calls a halt to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of round number eight. The winner by knockout victory, Thomas y Caballeros de Cupe Otto, Puerto Rico. Felix Pique Renida.
Let's take a look at final copy box numbers for one of the most devastating displays of power punching in the recent history of the sport. Felix Trinidad landing 149 more punches, throwing 104 less. Look at the connect percentage. And Mayorga, sure, he's an easy target because his arms are wide and free and he's swinging, but you got to step up inside of all that to land those punches. Yes, you do. That is for sure. Tito showed tonight what a little bit of rest can do for a good fighter. Look at the power punch statistics. 218 out of 329. This is after a two and a half year layoff against an opponent regarded as maybe the most dangerous opponent Trinidad could possibly have been in against in this situation. He lands 90 more power punches. He throws 62 less, selecting the ones that gave him a chance to land two thirds of his power shots. Virtually incredible. Larry Merchant stands by with Felix Trinidad. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Tito. Have you ever been in that sort of a long, tough, hard firefight? Estado tú en una pelea así larga y fuerte y difícil. Anterior, he estado en otra pelea tan fuerte como esta. Sí, he estado en peleas anteriores fuertes y gracias a Dios pues. Yeah, I've been in tough long wars before, and uh, but I, I dominated this fight. Were you surprised that he was able to take so many of your big punches? Te sorprendió que él pudo aguantar tantos de los golpes fuertes que tú le dices. Se sabe que era un peleador que aguanta muchos golpes. Se dejó dar de mí y aguantó los golpes, pero fue fue peor para él. We know that he, he can take a good punch, and I get him a lot of punch, and he took a lot of my punches, but that was bad for him. Early in the fight, he seemed to be on top of you. Were you de determined to be patient so that your technique would prevail? Temprano en la pelea, él fue agresivo y estuvo encima de ti. Tú fuiste paciente para poder esto agarrarlo más tarde y estar con calma. Sí, ese era el plan de pelea y gracias a Dios, gracias a Dios nos salió bien todo. Mayor que un peleador fuerte. Yeah, that was our plan. We wanted to be cool, calm, and then and, and, our plan was worked out perfectly. Did he ever hurt you? ¿En alguna vez te, te hirió, te, te dolió? Bueno, en realidad, la única caída, pero creo para mí que no fue caída, pero bueno, se contó y está bien, es válida. Uh, not really, but there was a knockdown, which wasn't really a knockdown, but it was called a knockdown, so it was legit. You hit him many shots right on the head, but it seemed that the one shot you landed in the body was the beginning of the end. Did you see that coming? You hit many shots in the head, and all the shots in the head, you didn't see anything, but when you hit the body, that was the end of the end. Did you know that he was damaged in that? Yes, in reality, the end of the head was the end of the head, and that's what I did. My corner told me to go to the body, and that's what I did, because I know that a body shot will hurt you. It surprised a lot of people that you were able to fight at such an intense pace after a two and a half year layoff. Did you ever feel that this was just sprinting instead of running a marathon, which you have done. Le sorprendió a mucha gente que tú pudiste sostener una pelea como la la hiciste, pero es como con tú esto un atleta que eres que en sprint tú sabías que podías mantener ese ritmo. Sí, sabía que ya puedo mantener el ritmo y gracias a Dios a a mi disciplina puedo hacer lo que hice. Yeah, I I knew that I can keep that pace up, and thanks to my discipline, I did what I did. Were you a different fighter? after two and a half years away than you were when you fought Hopkins, and in what way? Eres tú un peleador diferente después de dos años y medio de tu retiro, de cuando peleaste con Hopkins, y si es así, ¿en qué forma? Bueno, en realidad, pues, practicamos bastante el boxeo, llavear, moverme hacia los lados, y soy un peleador completo. Different, we, we, we practice a lot. We, we went for the techniques, the bobbing and weaving, moving side to side. I'm a complete fighter. Who does this complete fighter prefer to fight next? Would you want to get revenge against Bernard Hopkins, or would you want to get presumably the biggest money against Oscar De La Hoya? 
¿Con quién que, quisiera este boxeador completo pelear eh, todo, próximamente? ¿Quisieras una venganza contra Hopkins o quisieras más dinero pelear con Oscar de la Hoya? Bueno, en realidad, y como lo le dije, he dicho anteriormente, voy a ir a, a, a reunirme con Don King y le diré que es lo próximo para mí. El yeah. que venga, yo le voy a ganar. Like I said before, we're going to get together with Don King, and whoever it is, we'll let you know. Thank you, and congratulations again, Tito. Yeah, he wants to send a message. Quiero enviar un mensaje a toda mi Quiero también enviar un saludo a toda la gente de Florida que está viendo esta pelea, a todos ustedes. Y por último, enviarle un saludo a toda mi gente de San Tomás, Ángel, a Roberto y a Julian Jackson. Julian Jackson. Thank you very much, Tito, again. Saludo, Diepa. Saludo, Diepa, también a ti. All right, and here's a look at Ricardo Mayorga, who elected to leave the ring without being interviewed by our Larry Merchant. Mayorga disappointed uh, and perhaps a bit battered after taking all those punches from Trinidad. Perhaps an intelligent choice to just move on back to the locker room where doctors will examine him. After all, what do you say? Well, you heard Larry Merchant uh, asking Tito the critical question about a potential rematch with Bernard Hopkins three years ago, Roy. Tito did not seem big enough or good enough to box with Bernard Hopkins. Could it be different now? Yes, it could be different now. The layoff did him good. It recharged his body, got him a chance, gave him a chance to regroup, get himself back together. It's very difficult to stay at the top of this game and maintain for so many years without giving yourself a break. People don't realize when you're on top of your game, you got to be on top of your game. You don't get time to rest. So when he fell to Hopkins, he went and took some time out and rested, got himself back together. Tonight, he looks better than I've seen him in the last six years, I think. And how amazing is that in light of the two and a half year layoff? That's really very amazing, but it goes to show you that the layoff was something that was a necessity for Trinidad. So that shows fighters that sometimes you gotta lay off and give yourself a break. You can't go at that constant pace and just continuously go and go and go. You kill yourself. And if so, all of this should lead ultimately to a second battle between Hopkins and Trinidad, certainly Larry Merchant, Trinidad gave Bernard something to think about with the display of greater boxing skills in the second half of this fight. Jim, the only near parallel I can draw to what Tito did tonight is that he retired at the age of 29 of his own accord, which is almost unprecedented in boxing, and came back two and a half years later and showed that he may have many of his best, biggest fights still ahead of him. Sugar Ray Robinson at the age of 31 took a couple of years off hoping to become an entertainer, came back and had many of the great fights of his career. So while other giants are retiring and defeated, it looks like Tito will be here for a while to give us more thrills and spells. The stars have been retiring or falling. Lennox Lewis said goodbye to the sport. Tito Trinidad for a while was gone. Oscar De La Hoya got knocked out by Bernard Hopkins. Roy Jones got knocked out twice. The adulation you heard and felt in this arena tonight suggested the degree to which boxing may need Felix Trinidad to come back and be great. He rose. He rose dramatically to this occasion. And Bob Costas, I know the Ryder Cup is exciting, but <laughs> this was really something, wasn't it? I think. With all due respect to my friends at NBC, this was a bit more exciting tonight. And uh, Jim Lampley put it well with De La Hoya and Roy Jones Jr. in eclipse, at least for the moment. Boxing fans waiting for a new star or the return of an old star. Ring rust? What ring rust? What a performance. It was a great performance. A lot of fireworks in there. Uh, Felix Trinidad really showed the world, you know, if a guy is strong in the head, that means he's weak in the body. If he's strong in the body, that means he's weak in the head. But he went about his game in a in tremendous fashion today. He did what he did, do, does naturally, and that's box. He's a superior boxer, and that's what really showed today. And, uh, you know, I always pick the boxer over the puncher. You must give Ricardo Mayorga credit for standing in there and taking it and scarcely ever backing up. Almost anybody else would have gone out much sooner. But the night belonged to Trinidad. He was awesome in terms of how sharp he was. 
I tell you what, the two year two years layoff really did a, a good job with him because he really sat back and watched other boxers perform. And I guess he was sitting back on TV and watching Melga and say, I can beat him. You know, this guy's not a boxer. I need to be up there. And that's what really got him back. And he definitely heard the raw of the crowd today. In the ring after the fight, Larry Merchant posed the question. He had put it a bit differently when we met with the fighters yesterday. He said, do you take on Hopkins, a man who has beaten you, the only man to beat you, for 12 million? This is assuming the victory, which then ensued over Mayorga. Do you take on Hopkins for 12 million, or do you go for maybe 20 million and try and beat De La Hoya again? And Trinidad was coy, which I guess is appropriate, and said, in effect, what he said in the ring. Yeah. We'll wait and see. We'll let you know. We will. Now, of course, if it is Hopkins, and that is probably the one that boxing fans would most like to see. There is the little problem of the relationship between Bernard Hopkins and Don King and legal proceedings which are pending. But in boxing those things have a way of working themselves out if the fight is there and there's money to be made. The thing that really separates that oh that can get everything together. It's just money that solves all problems. Did the roar of the crowd make you that much more likely to come back tonight I tell you it felt good and uh, you know for all boxers out there that's given up their sport it definitely um, a reminder of what they used to what used to happen but uh, it didn't really do too much to me <laughs> but that all those roars were for Felix Trinidad and he deserved it tonight champ great work with you thank you all right Lennox Lewis and before we leave you tonight another program reminder about this fall on HBO pay-per-view